family has invited everyone who would like to attend. Meantime, there is a new push tonight to keep guns out of kids' hands. And there's a new way to do it developed by a Spokane Valley man. KHQ local news reporter Adam Mayer got the chance to see how it works firsthand. Adam? Well, Dylan Irvin is recreating the gun safety game, and it all starts with the distance between your thumb and your pinky. My name is Dylan Irvin. I'm a competitive shooter, business owner, husband, and father of two. And he's reinventing the way we lock up our guns. Irvin has been hard at work for the last four years creating the stop box. It is the in-between point for when your firearm isn't on your holster or sitting in a gun safe. The stop box acts as a barrier, similar to a tumbler lock, where you can create your own finger locking passcode. It's designed so that the locks on the side aren't accessible by a curious toddler. And with child access to firearm laws stalled in most states, the need for a device is immediate. Research shows children under the age of 12 die from gun accidents in the United States about once a week. A child's hand wouldn't be able to go from here to here while pressing down. It's also made for people to keep in close proximity. If I was laying in bed and asleep and somebody had just come in over here, I can focus my attention over there while reaching, grabbing, and accessing my gun. Irvin says he wanted to make something easily accessible compared to gun safes on the market that are big, bulky, or require a code that could lock you out after a failed attempt. When you're asleep and somebody's just broken into your home or your house, you need to be able to access it with one hand. You need to be able to access it in the dark, so without being able to see, and to do it immediately, or at least within a second or so. Now Dylan is working on the final prototype to take to a manufacturer, and once that is completed, he hopes to roll it out sometime in February of 2018. Live in Spokane, Adam Mayer, KHQ Local News. Adam, thank you. As for the accused Freeman High School shooter, a 15-year-old Caleb Sharp is being held in the Spokane County Juvenile Detention Center. He has pleaded not guilty to one count of first-degree murder and three counts of attempted murder. Sharp will be back in court again on Tuesday.